Sam Asghari's mother Lynn is furious with him for abandoning the pop singer. And she is now pleading with Britney to leave Los Angeles and come back to live with her. One day after it was made public that Sam, 29, had divorced his wife of 14 months, Lynn, 68, a close family friend exclusively reveals that she is furious with the actor for his actions. According to the source, Lynn is enraged with Sam for leaving Britney behind. He promised to be at her side in good times and bad, and when they got married, he was aware that she wasn't feeling well. After Sam abandoned Britney's $11.8 million Thousand Oaks house, Lynn is now pleading with her 41-year-old daughter to move back in with her in Kentwood, Louisiana, so she may heal and regroup. This is because Lynn needs Sam to heal and regroup. The person said, Lynn is pleading with Britney to move in with her and leave LA. LA is toxic, and Sam was the only thing keeping her there. When she is ready, Lynn plans to go to Louisiana to recover and regroup before coming back to Los Angeles. Sam was considered by Britney's family and friends as a kind guy who only wanted to save the pop star. So they were thrilled when the couple initially got acquainted and thought he would be the one to permanently ground the singer. The rational individuals in her life will be disappointed that the marriage has ended. He had the impression that he could save her. But the source said that Britney may not be a candidate for rescue. Sam checked out of the marriage after realizing his wife could not be salvaged. According to a second insider, who claims the actor simply stay at home and play video games all day before choosing to terminate the relationship permanently. This decision has infuriated her family to no end, who are enraged and bitterly disappointed. According to the source, they feel that he abandoned her as soon as things got tough. Rather than working with her family to get her help, Britney's family is now trying to aid her as a result of the divorce, a frantic effort that has been made more challenging by the fact that her previous 13-year conservatorship was only recently dissolved. On November 21, 2021, Britney was formally released from the legal arrangement that gave her father Jamie nearly total control over her personal life, career, medical care, and income. A measure restricting conservatorships was enacted by the governor of California a year later in an effort to better safeguard the rights of persons who were subject to such a situation. However, this decision has made things extremely difficult for Britney's family who are frantically trying to find a different means to ensure her well-being despite knowing they cannot place her in another conservatorship. The first family source stated that family and friends feel it is truly at the point of life or death, and they have to save her. They feel that the only option would be another conservatorship, even though that is the last thing they would want, the author said. But they cannot go down that road because she just got the paperwork to be released from the last one, she said. She has been lonely and has been really depressed that her kids are gone. A third person said, although she is currently working on her relationships with her sister and extended family, she is essentially alone and her only genuine source of happiness is when she uploads dance videos on Instagram. Brittany is not in a good space right now. It is not a really good time for her. Thankfully, Brittany and her mother Lynn reconciled in May after a protracted estrangement. She is also attempting to mend fences with her sister Jamie Lynn. With the assistance of Sam and Brittany's longtime manager Cade Hudson, Lynn traveled from Kentwood to Los Angeles in May to pay Brittany a surprise visit at her Thousand Oaks residence. The stage mom's efforts were successful since they were able to discuss their problems for 30 minutes. After reconciling with Britney, Lynn persuaded the 32-year-old mother of two to also get back together with her other daughter, Jamie Lynn. In a social media battle with her estranged sister over Jamie Lynn's scathing tell-all book, Britney claimed this month that she visited the Zuri 102 remake set in LA and patched things up with her. Last week, I enjoyed paying a visit to my sister on set. I've really missed you guys. At the outset of her caption, Brittany gushed, loyal girls stay at home, but going to see family is so nice. She said,
I have nothing but absolute love for every single one of my family members. When Variety questioned her about her relationship with Britney today, being so open and occasionally feeling like I had to defend myself was the biggest lesson I took away from last year. So I don't feel like there's anything else I should add. Those talks are intended to be private. So I'll simply have to leave it alone. All I can think of right now is my spouse, my daughters, and the work I'm doing. In her 2008 memoirs, Lynn claimed that she was too responsible for Britney's breakdown in these zeros. Why did she need me when her life was so successful? And when things started to get worse, I left because other people dancers and managers were with her all the time and closer to her. Being a mother, it is impossible to avoid having regrets about the things you did and did not do for your children. And I am no different, Lynn said. Sam first met Britney in 2016 when he was hired as a backup dancer for her slumber music video. She was still very much locked down at the moment, which created several challenges for their relationship. While she was under conservatorship, Sam remained by her side and expressed his strong support for the Free Britney movement, including donning a shirt when she was released. Sam and Britney are hitched in June 2022 in a grandiose ceremony at the star's Thousand Oaks residence. Numerous A-list celebrities, including Paris Hilton, Madonna, Selena Gomez, and Drew Barrymore, attended. Britney disclosed to the public in her stunning 2021 court briefing that she was barred from marrying Sam and from having a child with him, which resulted in the termination of her conservatorship. She stated during the 2021 hearing, I want to be able to get married and have a baby. I was informed that while under conservatorship, I am unable to marry or have children because I now have an IUD inside of me to prevent pregnancy. The singer originally revealed she was pregnant in April 2022 in a social media post, writing that she had initially believed she had gained a food baby while on vacation, but had really taken a pregnancy test and discovered she was indeed expecting. Soon after, the couple made a joint statement in which they disclosed that they had lost the pregnancy. The couple announced Saturday that they had lost their miracle child at a young stage of pregnancy with the utmost anguish. Any parent would find this to be a horrible situation. It was rumored earlier this year that the singer and her husband were considering divorce since their marriage had reached a hard point. Ascari not wearing his wedding band led to more rumors being spread, but the actor refuted reports that he and his wife had split up in March, and his agent gave Entertainment Tonight a statement to that effect. According to the representative, Sam is not experiencing marital problems, simply because he was making a movie. He took off his ring. In March, a close friend of the couple revealed that although they had been seen out and about without their wedding rings, everything was okay between them. The news of Britney and Sam's separation was originally announced by TMZ. According to TMZ, Sam has already left Britney's life and left the house. After only 14 months of marriage, Entertainment Tonight announced hours later that Sam had requested a divorce. Britney and her ex-husband Kevin Federline, who she was married to from 2004 to 2007, recently moved to Hawaii with their children Sean and Jaden, who are now 17 and 16 years old. They revealed to TMZ that, aside from Lynn and Jamie Lynn, she has one confidant, her manager Kate. Her support system then drops off a cliff as her security team comes into play. In 2004, the singer wed Jason Alexander. However, their union was dissolved after just 55 hours.